Welcome back, everybody, to the Cleveland Cavaliers NBA 2K19 My League. So we are moving on now to November, coming off a win against a, the Raptors team. It was an unbelievable game. If you've not seen it, go back to check that one out. It was crazy, down 30. It was uh, one heck of a game, as we'll continue to move on here. And first, I just wanted to show you that Zion Williamson will be put in the starting rotation, so you don't have to worry about that. He is starting small forward there, little at shooting guard, sexton at point guard, obviously right now with... Um, Buddy Heal out for injury. He'll be back, though, so we'll have to adjust the rotation there. We'll probably move Zion to power forward. We'll just go more of a small lineup as we continue to sim ahead here. Lose against the Pacers pretty badly there, about, uh, about 34 points. Lose to Boston, another huge loss. So you can tell our team's obviously not there. We're not a top echelon team, obviously, but we get a good win against uh, San Antonio there. So we're playing the Nets. I'd like to get a victory here. We cannot beat the Nets. Want it. Those are the games we're going to have to win. I don't think we're going to beat top echelon teams, really. But, um, you know, really we got to beat the beat really beat the teams that we can um, have to beat. Because I think we have depth, obviously. We're just super young. There, that's a good, good win against the Heat. We're super young, but we're trying to, uh, you know, beat the teams we can. Bayambo is back from injury as we face the Spurs now again. And this time we lose to him by 13. Nice four-game stretch there. We can get some rest here. Uh, we go to a, it looks like a three-game home stretch here. Miami, Orlando, and then Denver. So let's see if we can do lose against Miami by three points. Lose to Orlando, which normally losing to Orlando wouldn't be a thing. But he's nasty a little out six to eight weeks with a broken leg. Ay. So we're getting hit by the injuries here. Not very good. We'll lose to Denver by two. That's actually not that bad. And then we come here as Buddy Heels back. We have a game here against the Washington Wizards in Washington. So what the heck? Let's jump into this ball game and see what we got against a pretty decent team, pretty good team here in the East. See Zion Williamson averaging 18 points a game, five assists. Buddy Heel now back in the lineup, back from injury. So this will be his first game back. So maybe it'll take him a few quarters to get going. But here we go in Washington. And let's see what we got here for this uh, Wizards team. As this one is underway, John Wall, Bradley Beal and company, uh, they've had their troubles together in the past trying to get some team chemistry, but still, they can be very dangerous. Auto Porter, this team is talented, just, you know, just cannot seem to really bring things together. As Beal going down low and is going to get that one knocked away from Sabonis. Nice play from Sabonis. So, buddy, he'll bring it up, going to throw it down to Zion, and Zion has himself an easy layup there, and we got a two nothing lead to start this ball game so let's see what this offense can do with Zion Williamson we'll see a lot more of him as a jumper that's really not his game but we'll take it takes the shot there we'll have to kind of you know pull a Ben Simmons and work on the the jumper a little bit because of the athleticism and the way he can get up is outstanding you know obviously here in the uh, comparison the other day uh, Blake Griffin really is kind of comparable the way he can just throw down dunks it when he was in Duke you know so if we can get like a jumper like that with Zion going, I mean, he could be unstoppable as he's got a really uh, quick start here, six points, and we're down three. And that is a three-pointer there from, that is going to be Damari Carroll hitting the three. And we got a pretty good ball game going here in the first, tied at 15. You see John Wall trying to make some moves here and going up top, but good defense there from Rubio, staying with him. Zion's going to take this one down the court. He's going to get it up, and he cannot put it in there, but Lee draws the foul. Miritic there, and now we'll go to the line for two. I'd like to see him make these free throws. So he makes the first one there to put us up a point here, 16 to 15. Second free throw is going to be good. So Zion having a good game here so far, eight points for Borch here in the first quarter. So 17 all is the score. Rubio setting up Williamson. Look at the drive there. And he throws this one in somehow over his shoulder as Oubre comes with the foul. Williamson looking for the three-point play. Man, he has taken over this ball game here as Colin Sexton really hasn't had a whole lot going. Buddy Heald's been cold, so somebody had to get something going. And Williamson looks like the man here so far. As now moving it down. Oh, don't want to leave that guy over three, and it's exactly what happened. So they drill the three. Washington back down by a point, 23-22 to 22 here. As now they take the lead here with 30 seconds left in the first quarter as Rodney Hood with the jumper. That's no good. 
Good rebound there by Osmond. Backs it back out here, trying to just set up something here. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Williamson with it. He is not in a territory. Do not want him to shoot that ball there. But he's just going to have to throw it up. Tries to get it out to Osmond, who just puts it up. No good. That's a really bad offensive possession there as Rivers is going to bring it up here. Seven seconds left. And they're going to swing it over to Ubre Jr. He comes up with a three, and it is good. Puts it to a four-point game here at the end of the first quarter. Rubio is just going to try a three-point desperation there. That's no good. So uh, really terrible finish here for this Cleveland team to end the first quarter. We had the lead. And now it is a four-point lead for Washington. So we head into the second quarter. A nice job by Sexton getting in there, laying that off for Biombo for the easy dunk. We'll put this back to two. So still a two-point ball game, 29-27. And Colin Sexton, who had nothing there in the first quarter, that's what you want to see, the aggressiveness. And, you know, if you can't get the shot, try to get to the basket. Set up things for somebody else, if not for yourself. And you can see the aggressiveness there. Nice up and under. Uh, that was around to White Howard, I believe. And now we've put this up to a two-point ball game here, 31-29. to So John Wall running around trying to find something. And he just left wide open. What was that defense off the inbound? That was terrible. Nice job by John Wall, just getting some separation there. And we got a tie ball game here at 33. So swinging out to Damari Carroll, hit the one earlier, cannot hit it this time. Howard comes up with a rebound. John Wall going to swing it down. Miritick for three, and he drills it. Actually put on the line, calls it a two, but a guy just does not want to leave open. And Buddy Heald's going to try himself a three, and he's got it. He has been cold this ball game. That's his first three of the game here. Had a couple more attempts before, cannot hit him. And it's a three-point ball game with the Wizards in the lead. So Colin Sexton going to try himself a three, and he's got that up and good. Had a little swish off when it was Miritic on him instead of taking him to the rim. Decides for the three. And now we put this up to a six-point ball game with an excellent steal there from Heald. Gets it down to Zion, who comes up with a huge dunk on Oubre. Yeah, that is not a guy you want to get in the way of. Huge play there. We get the three-point play, and now it's a 51-45 ball game. But look at Bradley Beal not giving up, getting in the lane. Puts this to a four-point ball game here with less than two minutes left in the first half. So Zion tries to get in, cannot. So he just tried to get away from Oubre there. He'll throw it out to Beal, who drills the three, and it's back to a one-point ball game. So if we get a lead on Washington, they just come right back here and get right back in the ball game. They just like they did in the first quarter. So 51-50 Zion with the nice up and under there. Nice layup and it is good. 20 points here in the first half for Williamson as he has been outstanding. 20 seconds left. Williamson with the ball now. Now they're coming to double. He's going to throw it out to heel. Wide open three. No good. Cannot come down with that. Now Washington's going to have a chance here with the last shot as they get it out to Rivers. Rivers going in the lane. Lays it up and in. It is good. Back to a one-point ball game here with 5.7 seconds. We'll get Rubio down the course. He can get it through maybe Beal or something, but can't find anything. Just throws it out to Zion. Yeah, that's not a shot. It is no good. So we'll go to halftime. Up one. Excellent first half from Zion Williamson. As a team, we got to do a lot better at hanging on to the ball. A lot of turnovers. And really kept this Washington team in the game. 53-52 the score. So we'll go into the second half. And let's see if we can get a solid victory here on the road in Washington to get some momentum back into the season. So here we go, start of the second half. Sexton is going to start off just a one-point lead. And Sexton had a pretty good second quarter there, slow first quarter, throws it to Sabonis. Williamson on the outside. You can see they're starting to double him now. As Williamson had, maybe had Sexton underneath, and that is a terrible decision by Harry Giles to throw that one up. Not even close. They'll get it to Miritic, and he misses the three. So back and forth we go here with both teams starting off a little cold in the third quarter. Sabonis going to heel back to Williamson. He just lays that one in. Uh, not much you can really do about that defensively. 22 points in the game for Williamson. And now Washington has himself a three-point lead here with 9.55 left in the third. And put that to six as John Wall hits the three. 63-57. John Wall really not really known too much for that much of a shooting. See Ronnie Hood down the lane, throws it to Biombo, who could not get that one to go. They go down to Otto Porter, has a man underneath his mere tick. He puts it up, and it's going to be in, and the foul. It's a bonus. 
And now this can put this to an 11 point game. So the Wizards kind of running away with this one here. But he does miss the free throw. As Sexton's going to put up a three. And he's got that one good. So that's a bit of a swing there. It puts us back to a seven point ball game as I was saying. The Wizards trying to run away with this one here in the third. But Sexton on the pick and roll just takes it himself. Comes up with an easy dunk. You see John Wall just got lost there defensively and puts this back to a five point ball game. Nice job uh, by Osmond there on the defense. But Wall comes up with the loose ball and puts in the three. So John Wall has found his shot in this ball game. And this is now a five point ball game. Back to seven as Wall underneath. He is having an excellent third quarter here. Puts it to seven, but taking advantage is Colin Sexton using the speed to get down the court after Wall fell after the layup and gets a kind of free two points. As this is a 74 71 ball game now, but Rodney Hood coming down, drills the three, and we're tied up here with five minutes left in the third. So you can see not a whole lot happening here, down down to three minutes, 70 76 game. As Miritic is going to hit the three. So Washington just coming up with some huge three-point ba baskets in this ball game here so far. And puts it to three as Miritic coming off the screen is going to drill another one. Putting it to six. So 82-76 ball game here. Trying to get something offensively. Osmond, that's a, probably a bad shot. Rebounded. Really not a whole lot of offense on the court for this team right now. Maybe Rodney Hood, that is about... All we got going for us, maybe offensively, as Rubio not much of an offensive, you know, scorer per se. So we really don't have anything going on. More of a defensive lineup, but it's not really working as it does come up there. Hood with the steal. And we're down in here, transition. Throws it to Rubio in the jumper. He has that up and good. So puts it back to a four-point ball game. Now down to one. Less than a minute left here in this third quarter. Screen off is going to be Bradley Beal just left open for the three. That is another time that has just happened. And our defense has got to be better than that. So um, down now, down four here with 40 seconds left. Throw it into Sabonis. Try to get him something going here. Nice, nice little roll off there. Gets the easy layup and puts us back to two with 35 seconds left here in this third quarter. So once again, another fantastic game going on here. Seem to have one every time. It's Rivers with the jumper. That is no good. We can settle for the last shot here. We're going to try to move this quick here. This will throw it down to Buddy. Heel it open underneath. And he lays it up and in. And we have another tie ball game here at 85. So neither team, I tell you what, neither team can just pull away from each other. Because no matter what, it's like the, yeah, like the rubber band effect. They're always coming back as Rivers has the jumper here. It is good. With 2.1 seconds left, and that is another quarter where they get the last bucket as Buddy Hill just throws that one up and is no good. So we head to the fourth quarter, 87-85, good game here in Washington. Now let's get into this fourth. So Otto Porter starting this off, throws it down to Bradley Beal. He cannot come down with it. Down to Rubio, who's going to throw to Zion. And see ya. Yeah, get out of his way, man. Just dunks that one home. Really got a lot of rest in the third quarter, so hopefully he is good to go here for the fourth. 27 points in the game for Zion as he throws it out to Rubio, who cannot come down with it. Nice rebound by Giles. Throws it out to Buddy Hill for three, and that's going to put us up six here. Under 10 minutes left in the ball game. So still a six-point ball game. 95-89 with eight minutes left. Beal off the screen as the three, and it is good. Man, Washington's got a, quite a bit of three-pointers in this ball game. Puts it back to four, 95, 91. Williamson gets stripped there by Porter. And then Beal, a wide open jumper, puts it in. Puts this back to a two point ball game. So under seven now, it's back to six. So we're trying to just, you know, get what we can here, pull away from this team. As Giles comes up with a huge steal, Williamson's gonna slam it home. No, he doesn't. Oubre Jr., I think, knocked that one away. Huge play. Instead of a eight, it remains a six-point ball game, and now poor defense leaves Otto Porter just wide open and puts this to a four-point ball game here. As we now move down under three minutes left, it's just remained a four-point ball game. Both offenses have really struggled here near the end. Still a four, as now it's going to post up there John Wall as a bonus. 
gets the basket and puts this to six with two minutes left. So here comes this Wizards team, Wall just walking it up. Going to throw it to Otto Porter here. Not really a lot of movement going on for this Washington offense. They need something here as Miritic with the ball. Drops back, Sabonis left of the Miritic, drills the three. You cannot leave him there. So back to a three-point ball game here with 1.30 left. Washington getting down there. Beal's going to throw it down to Howard, and Howard dunks it in. Puts this back to a one-point ball game. This Washington crowd is pumped. 103-102, and Williamson loses the ball. Otto Porter comes up with it, slams it home, and Washington has taken the lead here with 1.15 left. So what a turnaround. We were up six points about 50 seconds ago, and now we're down one. As Williamson off the screen, he's going to go up, and he's going to get fouled. So he'll go to the line here for two to give us the lead. So first one from Williamson is going to be good. So we tied this ball game. Up back up 104. Now second shot here for Williamson. No good. It is no good. So we're still tied. Porter with the rebound. Going to down. He's going to find Beal who finds a wide open John Wall for the layup. Back to a two-point ball game here. Two-point lead for Washington. Now Rubio bringing it in. Colin Sexton has not been brought back into this ball game. I'm not sure why. But Buddy Heal now trying to set up a screen. He has a layup and he puts it in. We're back to a tie ball game as Washington's going to call a timeout here with 45 seconds left. Another insane ball game here. So here we go, 45 seconds left. Bradley Beal off the pick and roll. He's going to throw out the mirror. Take who drills the three. That is his fourth big one of this ball game. So it's a three-point game here with 34 seconds left. We can either go for two or go for three. He's just going to try to tie this one up. It's no good. And that's going to be off Harry Giles. Heels tries to save it. Goes out of bounds. And now Washington's ball here with 25 seconds left. So we're going to have to foul as we try to. We get a steal, actually. Unbelievable. Sabonis with the steal, and he cannot put it in. And Miritic with the foul. What a play by Sabonis. Really just going for the foul, but knocks it away. As he misses the first free throw. Man, you got to hit these. And he does just get the second one in. But we're going to have to foul again. Down two with 20 seconds left. And Sabonis tries to steal again, but doesn't go for the foul. Rubio, somebody foul him finally. Man, finally gets the steal. So John Wall to the line for two. First one is good. Puts it to three. This is the big one. Can, can put, it, put it to a four-point ball game. As Wall's going to miss it. He misses it. Williamson with the rebound. And we'll call the timeout. So we got 13.9 seconds left here. Down three. We need the three to tie here. So we're inbound it to Hugh. He is the guy to go to. He's the best three-point shooter on this court for us right now. Gets the screen there from Giles. Can't get anything. Running out of time here. Six seconds left. Gets a little away from Beal. And it's good. The three from Buddy Hill. Huge shot. Ties this ball game up at 110. But we still got 2.9 left. And the way we've been hitting shots at the end of the quarters, who knows? As Porter comes up with it, he puts it up for the win, and it's no good. And we go to overtime. Unbelievable finish to this ball game here. Clutch shot by Buddy Hill. And we head into overtime. So now what's going to happen here is that is a terrible turnover by Rubio. John Wall slams it home. He is having an excellent game, and they're up two. As Williamson has one of his own down the lane, just almost like a running back there, just cutting through the defense and just slams it in. And we're tied up again at 112. Now up to 114 all here with 232 left. Out to the bonus for three. He cannot come up with it. Ball comes loose. And Miritic with the uh, big rebound, dunks it home and puts Washington back up two here with 2.20 left. Two minutes left in this ball game here. Williamson getting the pick and roll, he'll take it himself, lays it up and in. And that's back to a tie ball game here. Williamson now with 32 points on the game. Probably the best game he's had of his rookie season. One minute left, tie ball game. Williamson taking it down the lane and slams it in. Big time play there by Zion. Over to White Howard, slamming it at home. And we have a two-point lead. 
50 seconds left. John Wall's going to throw it up to Howard over Harry Giles and ties it up on the alley-oop. 118 all here with 45 seconds left. Sexton out to Williamson, trying to set up a play screen from Giles. Williamson goes in, and he throws it away. Dwight Howard with the steal. Beal coming down. Beal's going to lay it up and in. Two-point lead now for Washington on the mistake from Zion. 27 seconds left. Peeled out to Sexton here, 121-18. Sabonis off the screen, trying to get something going here. Offense looking stagnant, really can't find anything. Throw it back to Sabonis, who gets it out to Zion, who drills the shot, is up and good. Zion Williamson turned the ball over, but gets it back there. Dies this ball game up at 120, and we have 11 seconds left here in overtime. Here we go, Beal out to Wall, and Beal's going to screen around here. Wall throws it to a pump fake. Beal for the win, it is good! Oh, man! Three point from Bradley. Beal will call the timeout, but we do still have 2.2 seconds left here. Can we tie this ball game up? Beal gets it off the screen, has a good look at it, but it's no good! Cannot hit the three, and that is the ball game. Washington comes away with a 123-120 victory. Zion Williamson had one heck of a game. Outstanding performance by him, and that was one, really one hell of a game. That was a hell of a game there in overtime. To see Zion, uh, 36 points, 13 boards. He did have seven turnovers, so that is going to have to... You know, that, that's going to have to be turned around. Same with Sexton. Seven turnovers, not what you want to see. But uh, everything else from him looked fantastic. And it hopefully it can just get better from here. And he can really turn into be an unbelievable play, pe player. I like the, you know, him sh you know hitting those 15-foot jumpers looked good. That was outstanding. So that's good to see. John Wall and Bradley Beal just had an excellent game. Amir Tick just drilling the, the big-time threes. But um, unbelievable game there as we head. We'll take a look at the stats here. I want to see what's good. So Williams is actually leading the team right now with about 20 points a game, seven boards. Actually averaging 5.4 assists a game as well. Uh, Sexton up there about 6.1, 17 points a game. Nasir Little was having a pretty good rookie uh, year. it will be out for a month, month and a half at least. Um, so that hurts us a little bit. Hopefully we're bringing it back. But what I, I did notice during the game uh, a couple of the rotations, we had no offense. So maybe we make a move here at some point and, and bring in some more offense off the bench. There just really isn't a whole lot. So, uh, I mean, maybe Swaggy B's just sitting there and, you know, we bring him in off the bench to get a little bit more offense because we did have pretty good defense, I think, off the bench, but not the offense. As you can see, going through the rookies here, Zion's leading in points per game. Actually leading an assist the game over his uh, former Duke team in R.J. Barrett there. But Zion right now does have a Rookie of the Year going. So he, he could possibly win Rookie of the Year, and I could definitely see it for sure. So that's pretty much going to do it for this one. We take a tough loss against Washington, but, you know, the future looks bright for this Cleveland team, and hopefully we can continue on it the rest of the season. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.